So hi everyone and welcome to this video on the first differences model. This is part two of our sort of series on panel data models. Uh, so as we mentioned in the last video, the main sort of thing that we see in panel data is this unreserved heterogeneity term. So we can have this sort of space specific error called alpha i. And uh, this is something that, uh, as I mentioned, panel data can shed considerable light on. And we noted that that alpha i term is probably gonna be correlated to our regressors in some way. So one approach is, well, we can try to find a way okay, to eliminate this because as we mentioned, OLS will both be biased and inconsistent if this problem exists. So maybe as a first step, okay, let's try to take this out, right? And the first step at it is we build what we call the first differences model, okay? Our goal again is to eliminate that alpha I term and one way to do that is just to take the first difference. So if we recall the definition of a first difference, it's simply you subtract the present minus its immediate past value. The first difference simply looks like this. So if you have average income at i t, right, at time t, well, you take uh, its difference by subtracting whatever value that uh, took in t minus one, right? So we basically subtract those things together and what we get is the first difference term or this difference, this delta average income IT. So if we do that, okay, and we do our model with that, well, what we notice is we're gonna get a lot of um, difference terms here, okay? But the key point I wanna point out is um, what happens here is this alpha I term, because it's not a function of T, Okay, will go away. So that alpha I term will go away, right? And uh, we, all, but one thing that will also disappear is that beta naught term because um, beta all naught is also not a function of T. So that will also go away, right? So we see here, okay, that we're gonna get to a new model for specification, one that involves differences. However, okay, in this case now, we do not have the problem of this alpha I term, which we said was causing a lot of issues, right? And notice that again, beta naught and the alpha I will just cancel out in our formulation, okay? Now, what are the different implications of the first difference model? Okay, well, under the assumption that that covariance term, okay, is gonna be equal to zero, right, then OLS should be consistent and unbiased for the most part, right? Again, we no longer have the eta i term, which we know is alpha i plus u i t, simply because, okay, that alpha i is gone in the first differences model, so we're only left with delta u i t. So the only thing we need to worry about is how the, the, the difference green space, right, and that delta u i t term, how are those things related to each other? If that's equal to zero, then for the most part, okay, OLS should be consistent and unbiased, right? In essence, the first differences model is basically using a regular OLS, same good old OLS, but on difference terms, right? So we're just sort of uh, using okay, difference terms for everything that's going on. Right now, for it to work properly, we need some variance across time. Right, otherwise, those difference terms will tend to approach zero, and you aid, and you end up taking out things that are constant throughout time, which is sort of a bad thing. So you need some difference across time. Otherwise, those difference terms will just be zero, and that's kind of unintuitive. Right, so that's a first pass at it. And I think it's a pretty good first pass if I do say so myself. What we're gonna do now is let's try to run it and see how it looks like in Stata. Okay, so now we're gonna get into Stata. And uh, in here, what you see is basically I loaded a mock data set, just a random data set, trying to replicate what we wanted. So I have here years and then cities, right? So I have five cities over uh in this case uh four years or five uh uh 
over a couple of years actually. So what we're gonna do first is uh, we're gonna try to implement the first differences model uh, in Stata. So how do we do that? Well, we first need to generate uh, the differences of the variable. So we need to generate the difference of average income and green space. So gen, okay, D income, which is D dot average income, right? This should be the, the name of the variable here, right? So the name of the variable being average income. And if I do that, I should get that, okay? Then I should do gen uh, the green space, which is the dot uh, green space, right? And we get this. Then running the first differences model is effectively, again, it's an OLS. And then we just uh, do a regression between the income, the green space, and we get the following results. So we see that in this particular model, right, we see that higher green space, uh, a, high, a larger green space would generally yield uh, a, a positive relationship with income and a statistically significant one. So that's basically how to do a first differences model uh, in Stata, and that's how to run a first differences model. Now, is the first differences model perfect? No. Again, if the variable doesn't really vary throughout time, it's not really that useful because we don't we cannot generate enough variation. And there are more sophisticated techniques that uh, have been developed uh, after the first differences model, which we will discuss in our next video. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.